Right, I think you're going to be really excited about this episode because in this episode we're going to talk about the user input. You've already learned that console write line is used to output or print values. Now we want to use console read line in order to get user input. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the user here. Let's let's type this out in comments. Let the user enter a username store that username in a variable so we can use the value for later use and then we want to print out the name of the user so let's notify the user that they need to enter a username so let's do that by console write line please enter a username all right and now let's go ahead and store that value so string username equals console dot read line now console read line is actually going to block any further code from running until we hit enter. So it's called a blocking call. So once the user presses enter after typing their name, let's go ahead and type out hello plus and then the value of username. So that plus is just saying that we're appending this string value to this string right here. Let's go ahead and try that out real quick. So once you run the application, it's going to say, please enter a username. I'm going to say binary bunny and see how this, this line of code hasn't executed yet until we hit enter. See what I forgot to do? Console.read line in order to block the application from closing out. Let's go ahead and try that again. Binary bunny. And there we go. Hello, binary bunny. And now it's another blocking call right here. So let's go ahead and press enter. And that's really how easy it is. Now let's actually dive into this a little bit. Console read line, this function right here returns a string. You see how it says there's like a purple box here that indicates that it's a function and then the return type, which is string. So console read line waits for the user to, to enter a value. It's going to read that line and then spit back a string. So if I were to try to do something like this, int my age equals console read line. This is actually going to throw us an error message saying cannot implicitly convert type string to int. This is probably an error message that you're going to encounter quite a lot. So it's good that we're actually talking about it right now. Okay, so what's happening here is that this thing read line fits back a string. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to store a string inside of an int variable. See, that's a no go. There are two different types that just wouldn't make any sense. However, we can use what's called conversion in order to convert it from a string to an int. So let's go ahead and remove this code right here and type convert to int 32 and then console.readline just like that. Make this a bit more readable for you. So convert to int 32 is going to convert a specified string representation of a number to an equivalent 32 bit signed integer. In other words, it's going to take a string and try to convert it to a number. See how this one returns an int? Aha. So if we were to type something like 11, it would try to convert 11 and store that within my age. However, what we want to do is we want to feed it an input by using console read line and then convert the value that it gets back from reading that line. So if we were to type 10 into the console, it would try to convert 10. Now don't try typing in alphanumeric values like a b c d because that's going to throw an exception and that's for another video so let's go ahead and clean this up a bit before typing in my age let's go ahead and tell the user to enter an age we'll do that by typing console write line please enter your age and then we can print out the age as well console write line your age is plus my age see some people would think that this would throw an exception because this is a string and this is an int However, the compiler is smart enough to convert this number to a string because that's really easy. You're essentially just surrounding it by double quotes. So let's go ahead and run this real quick. Please enter a username, binary bunny. Please enter your age, 100. And there we go. Reading and writing user input. Feel free to play around with this and come up with your own idea. The more you play with it, the more it's going to click and it's going to become really easy. Now in the next episode, we're going to go over conditional if statements. That's where we're actually putting logic behind the code and decisions. So we could say if you're over the age of 10, then the rest of the code will execute. Otherwise it won't. All right, I'll see you then.